Hi, in this tutorial I'll talk about exporting as bitmap in Inkscape. As we already know, Inkscape is a vector-based graphics editor which means that uh, it works with vectors, with uh, lines and dots and simple words and uh, Photoshop or GIMP for example work with raster-based images which are made from uh, pixels, grid of pixels and uh, a lot of times you may want to export your work in Inkscape in a raster based bitmap image so you can uh, import it in GIMP or Photoshop or other software like this or just upload it to a website or for any other purpose that's why in this tutorial I'll talk about this menu here export bitmap which will allow you to do that to turn this vector graphic into a raster based image so let's close this to access this menu go to file export bitmap and you see the menu here we have four options to export the page a drawing a selection and a custom option the first one here page will allow you to export wherever is in the page in this page over here so right now if I place this let me select this and place it over here and I'll turn on GIMP right now I previously exported this to show you this is what you're going to get. It will export only the page and uh, whatever it's on it. Let's switch back to Inkscape. You see how this was exp exported. Now something else I want to mention. Inkscape exports in PNG file type which can handle transparency. And that's why where we don't have any graphic we see this transparency and of course this can be visible only in software like GIMP or Photoshop if you open this image in uh, any image viewer software or up upload it to a website this will be filled with white so that's something you should know uh, let's check the next option here drawing now if we haven't selected anything and um, we have this masterpiece here and select drawing this will export everything within the area of this drawing this will include this object here and this one let's see how this will look in GIMP I think it was this one yes you see how it exports to the edges of the drawing now next one here selection will export whatever we have selected right now I have selected this object let's jump to GIMP again now here you see uh, let me show you what this means if I place this over here and I select this object only this object without this one and I export the selection and I do not click on this high all except selected option this will also be visible like here so if I want to export only this object and this one here or we have some other graphic that we don't want to be in the exported bitmap we need to click this option hide all except selected and if we click this one we'll export only this selected object here you see how this looks in GIMP just this one now let's go back here the next one custom will allow you to um, enter your own numbers here now this area here is regarding the position of what you're going to export if I click on selection right now and move this object here you see how the numbers here change this is the position of the object so if you click on custom you may choose a position a size here width and height and let's say export only area like this for example or anything you want with the custom option so like I said these numbers here are regarding the position of the object and uh, this here is the width and the height of our selection for example right now and uh, this one is the bitmap size the width the height again and the resolution and uh, let's switch back to GIMP here I exported uh, one of one time the object in a smaller resolution and one time in a bigger resolution 
and you see the difference. As you know, vector graphics are not uh, resolution dependent, so you can make this as big as you want and it will always look good. You can make it huge, you can make it really small. So this is where you enter this data, the width, the height of the exported object. And down here, of course, we can select the destination folder and here is the name of the file. This time it's one here. If I export this, it will go to this destination and with the name of one. And the file type is PNG, like I said, it can handle transparency. So this is basically it for this menu, which allows you to turn a vector-based graphic to a raster-based image and use it for any purpose that you want. So that's it for this tutorial. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. This can be a little bit confusing sometimes. So feel free to ask something if you want to. That's it for now. Bye.